it's uh, steel 10, steel 11, steel 12. There is some difference in the mounting of the ignition. There, there is a chip on this coil. Here, there is uh, three screws hold for a, a condenser and um, points. So uh, I'm hunting for a, an ignition system for a Husqvarna RV38, which is almost uh, similar to a steel uh, zero, uh, two zero. But um, the coil here looks similar to the coil which is in on the Husqvarna RV38. But the Airway 38, um, it has points and condensator, and uh, I measured the coil, and the coil is okay, I guess, on the Husqvarna, but the condensator, I think, is kaput. Uh, anyway, there is no spark in the Husqvarna, so I need to improvise and try to make it work. Husky 3.8 VR. A little rare saw, looks very much uh, the same as uh, steel 020. Looks in a very good condition. And this is a steel uh, 11 maybe. And they have almost the same mounting uh, for the... I guess it's the same mounting for... Um, but I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. It could be different. It could be a slightly different, it could be the same. I didn't test it, I don't need to test it. The, the mounting points for the condenser, for the condenser and the points. So, I will try to use the coil here with the, with the chip. I guess this is a, a chip, so I guess there is no need for any condenser and points on this. The coil is very dirty, so I uh, guess I have to airbrush it a little. And I plug this, uh, I don't want unnecessary dust coming in here. So then it's become more uh, uh, delicate to work with. And uh, so it was to remember how this is uh, mounted. I think it was this way. And. Uh, Maybe have to take a look on the film. I guess it's this way. This should be ground there. Yeah. This. Uh, Spark wire is a little long. Maybe ah, this is the coil wire that was on the 
um, 38 rear. VL 38 V error. Seems to be a kaput actually. Probably is a repair point. I should need a little longer one. So it's a disconnection here, no big deal. This is more a perfect length. And uh, if I move it around a little, will there be any disconnection? Sounds good. Don't need this. Will this fit? It should do, as far as I know. Ah, it fits perfect. It fits perfect. This is an uh, ignition plate for uh, steel uh, zero two zero. I think this is doing the same job as this steel chip. Uh, this is a chip two. I think it has the same uh, function, but it didn't fit in this uh, chainsaw. It fits uh, like slightly like this. If I work a little on it, I could press it in, but then I will not have the dust cup of on it. Uh, exactly. Uh, And there is no screw holes. There is no uh, attachment screw holes where it will fit. Only fits this way because of the little uh, opening here. And this expansion will go down there. Uh, maybe could have done some uh, modification on it. And screwed it into that hole. Maybe fits. Always can be a little creative. I could cut a little maybe here. 
maybe a cut a little on the plastic, small millimeters, maybe could have been used. But now I have this, I found that. And uh, before there was a condenser and points here, now I have removed them. And uh, this is a dust cover. Uh, yesterday I tried to mount this kind of a uh, coil which is meant to be for a uh, steel zero uh, a steel uh, 250 or uh, it fits uh, several types it also fits uh, uh, 025 uh, 023 021 should fit uh, 020 no mention of uh, Husqvarna VR, uh, Husqvarna 38 VR, uh, no mention of that, because this is a rare, more uh, rare saw, saw, not that uh, common saw. It's actually a little rare. So, um, because this will fit at uh, zero 020, which look very much like this. I thought it maybe would fit there, but I, I was missing uh, one or two millimeter from having uh, success on that. I need to try uh, several things. a little bit too wide down there but I go for it I go and brush the chainsaw because there's a lot of dust on it sawdust in there again I block this Exhaust. Fuel intake. Pulse. Uh, pulse hole. Pulse line. Then I get my um, piston blocker and I tighten the flywheel. But now I brushed it a little. Is there a smart way I can do this? Mount this. Maybe I could glue it into here. Two spots of glue there. And it's done. I don't want it to crash into the flywheel. And I don't think there is a particular track under. There uh, may be ears, which I oversee. But for now, I put it away. Only thing I want to check if it is giving any ignition. Could be. It's just laying there. Under, under the flywheel. Seems a little risky. And what about you? Uh, And 
and uh, I guess this is the original screw flat head here and there is the spark wire and there should be I, I miss those screws longer ones here okay they go all the way through with a knot on the other side and there was one screw there two but likely it's not that one it's a shorter one I would assume and this one should have a nut on the other side both of them have a nut here That looks like the right size. Then I found a knot with the right size. I pressure it down there. Could I keep it with a finger? Feels like it enters, and that uh, what it did. So, no, it uh, did not. What a shame. No, it entered. So it's good for now. I'm just going to try. And there I have the spark wire. Well, then the spark plug, uh, I don't put on the hood, or maybe I should, why not, <laughs> I should maybe, uh, I could put some oil on it, so it's enter more easy, I enter it, uh, put a little from my mouth, or a little water, it's always best to do that up front. Mm. 
Some say it is a pain in the butt to get this thing on. But you remember it's rubber, so you need to give it the time it need. And you need to be patient. Aye. Well, there it's come. Voila. What do you have here? The only thing missing now is a good spark. And now it's long enough to rest on there. Starting house, starter house. This is only to test. Oh, yeah. 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 Scavis playing with words. This is uh, M5, as they usually are, M5 screws. Yeah, I forgot to let you in on what I'm doing. Starter housing, placing the screws. And uh, I had success with uh, uh, spark plug mounting. So the moment of truth, if I am rewarded for the work I did now, it would be exciting. Then I will take everything off again, this off again, and uh, mount the carburetor, which I have rehabilitated with my uh, usual uh, way of doing things. Uh -huh. I need to take off the, this, of course. I maybe forgot to take off that one on the other side. Oh my, oh my. I need to take it off again. Because I didn't... I, I forgot to take out that. And it's uh, colliding with the piston. But uh, it's very easy to take off. I don't need to take off the starter. I only split the whole uh, chainsaw chasing. So I take off the left side. And I didn't mount every screw. Will I not be able to... No, I have to take off this starter house because one screw is under the starter house. But it's not that big a deal. Yes, I'm how we just have some brain and work with this. You have a video, I'm not tired. So you avoid the things I have to do now. Of course, of course, this is not unnecessary. But this is my lack of quick attention. This one. No, I can reach it there with the special. No, I have to take off. Of course, this is not my favorite. It's very easy. This. Ooh. My, oh my. It's coming under the piston. That's not too cool, is it? So now I more than I'm on this part of the saw. I need to keep that not at once, easy. Yeah, I do. I don't tighten this much. Just enough. So, I will see that all this process. 
I'm going to go to the last time I forget to let me. I can see about two. And now I have two dogs, so you can see what I'm doing. But it's pretty easy. And it's very organic. So you can get three and five screws. I've done them. Making sure you get a little bit. Making sure you get it. Uh, uh, okay, you do the five deal. The buffers. It's not in pressure. Coming in squeeze. Now I should be able to turn it around. Yes, I can. And now. Ah, there was no spark as I could see. Maybe I didn't see good enough. Take it into the dark and I take a look if there is any spark. It doesn't look good. It did not look too good. No, no spark. By the way, this is the condensator and the points. Which I uh, suspect is uh, broken. There is a shorter screw. It's perfect short. The only problem if, is if I can get the gap okay. Now No, it does not run freely at all. It's not possible to make it have a free run. I could try to modify it. I could try to modify it, yes. I may do, just for fun. Straight up there is the problem, and that means shorten it down there and shorten it down there. Is that possible? So then I actually machined it a little and uh, how does that work? I have no idea. Everything is been done by eyeballing it, measuring only by eyeballing it. I need to do a little more on that. And then I have it. Modify a little bit more on the tip of that. So now I have done that, I think I'm there, ready to go with the experiment. Yeah.
it looks to me like a fine uh, uh, distance. So now the question if I can get it under here without it infer interfering with the flywheel. Yeah, there is spark. Cool. Then it's just to go further with the carburetor tomorrow or in the evening. I bet I cannot let it go too eager for that it will be a nice saw if it's a run because I think there is no problem with the cylinder and piston and it looked very very clean and nice and it's a rare kind of a saw looks promising and in good condition Unfortunately low compression, I find out it's low compression on it, so I need to put it all apart and see if I can, uh, wherever I can uh, end up here. I think this is a 42 millimeter cylinder and, uh, and I have steel 38 millimeter cylinders maybe will fit to the the frame or the base so as far as I know this give it 105 PSE I uh, didn't bother to measure before I uh, uh, put all together. I made carburetor rebuilt. I did uh, find a coil which I adjusted. A coil for a steel 250. It fits here on this Husqvarna 38VL. Uh, Looks very much like a steel 20. There is no Sign of life. I don't use power drill, I just use my hand. It's pretty quick to strip down, pretty easy. to access the screw on the, the start cover need to be taken off that's a little not convenient a little backward I would say and as usually with huge corner the screws is deep threaded 
that is not an original screw. This look original, but it's not an original. So, it's a very quick chainsaw to put apart. Yeah, you need to take off the chalk governor just straight up. I need to empty it, empty it for gas. Very easy to take off the carburetor in this chainsaw. The intake uh, base or insulator or adapter or what name it has, homemade gasket. Cylinder gasket. Pulse. Pulse. Walking from there over to there and there into the carburetor. And operates the gasoline pump, of course. Chain oil is leaking out somewhere. Okay. It's just leaking out, just leaking out, like no resistance. Too bad, probably missing something here. So there was a lot of issues here, the oil pump, there is some uh, outtake here is missing, but I will investigate everything on this chainsaw, because it's a little rare, so I, I do the job. So it could be oily. So. It's a little bit cool uh, combination. Now it's even more oily with chainsaw chain oil. 
chain oil is very sticky There's something about the fibers that makes it very sticky it's supposed to be like that so it follow the chain all around the bar we're not just squirting off What on earth is this? Not long ago I had it off, the flywheel, so I knew it would go off easy. Normally it's uh, stuck quite much. Okay, there it is. The spacer. That's the throttle uh, governor. You can see the cylinder the piston So how is this uh -huh. it's the it's uh, connected here the whole engine is um, mounted uh, in front there so it would be easy to put apart the whole chainsaw do I have to take off the clutch or maybe not Or maybe it's not that easy. Maybe I'm fooling myself. The bolts is going over there. What about this plate? No, it's going straight off. It's uh, it's uh, two parts here. It's, I thought it was the same on this. Uh, bending into it, but it's not. It's uh, uh, a part here. There is a limit here, or what the name is. And there. So 
so I lift off all of this and I probably not will find the same one anywhere then the clutch uh, could only could just be there but I need to remove it anyway because I have some uh, issue with the uh, remember that is a, a Lynx very easy to get a 13 millimeter socket on that uh, clutch very convenient This is a warm gear, maybe. Yeah, I don't have the right tool. Hmm, intricate. Oil pump, I just missing something in here. I guess it's just a pipe. And I might, I will find the same on a steel 20, I guess. Now the question is, can I open this? Screws, it's not Torx. Ah, that was easy. Mm, that was hard. Mm, that was hard. Two down. That was hard. Mm, one to go. And there's a screw there. I don't need to loosen that, I guess. Ah, look at this. Ah. So, this was not that difficult at all. I wouldn't say that was difficult. So then it's just to inspect the condition. to find the same kind of uh, piston that could be a difficult I don't really know uh, 
one piston ring. It's maybe only the piston rings I need to replace. The piston uh, looks good, actually. But the piston ring, how does that look? The problem could have been low compression. Can somebody tell me if the ceilings here are bad? If these seals are bad? If it's bad? It even looks like it's missing. There is no seal there. Am I, am I blind or what? Do I misunderstand? Is that the seal? No, that is the seal. If the seal is gone, is a malfunction in the crank case here, will that give a low compression here? I don't know. I cannot see anything especially wrong inside here, can I? Even the piston ring doesn't look bad. This was strange. It has uh, too low compression, was my uh, impression. But I don't see any kind of uh, wrong here. see any damage there maybe yeah there is this one there is it There's nothing wrong here. As I can see, could it be? No, it, the compression was low, it was only 105. Maybe I just changed the piston ring and uh, after all it was not that much work. to take off these things. Ah, the piston ring is blocked. It's jammed. That's the problem. It was uh, stuck, and uh, as far as I know, a piston ring should not be stuck. It's been standing for a long time, 
So the piston ring actually was stuck. It was no movement on it. It was not flexible. And that's I take an inspection on it. That was maybe the problem. It doesn't flex. It was it was not uh, moving. It was jammed here because it's been stuck for a long, long time. Maybe I should put the piston in the ultrasonic cleaner to clean the track for the piston ring. Okay, that's enough for now. I'll see later on what I'm doing. I might try to find a new... I measured the piston ring probably is 1.5 mm thick and it should be for a, a 42 mm piston it may be, I, it will be a little exciting to see because I have a piston for a, a steel 0 0.25 and they have same diameter on the piston or the cylinder ball. Okay. The idea is that I will find some piston rings inside here and I will try to make them fit on my Husky 38 VR So there I have a piston ring So what is up and what is down? Ah, there it is. This way it should be because of this uh, stopper. Could it be? Gliding on. Maybe that will do uh, the job. I think I airbrush it and then I'm good to go. It looks okay, doesn't it? The piston, there's nothing wrong there. Same goes with the cylinder. So slightly. It looks okay, but there is some Tiny, tiny, small scratches, but uh, I don't know what to tell in English, but it's only a surface, uh, only on the surface it's some, uh, some, uh, it's not scorn, it's not, uh, you can't feel it with your nail or anything, you just can see some, Races. Yeah, I just sand it a little. Now I use 600 paper. 
hope it's okay. I bet you have good tools you can do this with. But I do it a little by hand. This is not very professional. It's just to see if it's going to work. So, let's see if I can uh, put this together. There is an arrow there. I mean, uh, that has to go to the exhaust. And, uh, I don't remember wrong, the exhaust is on that side. Yeah. And on this I want to put the um, gasket ceiling and there is some uh, two-stroke oil. I need to find a gasket. So then I found the gasket. I have put some tape on to keep it closed. Some gaffer tape, we call it in Norway. Off we go. And now Try to squeeze out something. Probably not that easy. It's dried up. Maybe I could stick a hole. Maybe not. So it's become a lot of mess, but uh, well, well, sound seems to be working. So I need a blanket. Just a blanket to clean out the mess. here and on my fingers of course now it's ready to go order out of cows cabezio Well, this is how I do it. Take more tape on it later. Well, well, well. Now it's important to put a lot of don't save on the oil. Put two stroke oil on the piston and the piston rings. Also put two stroke oil inside the
inside the cylinder. It could be difficult to mount it. I don't know. Depends on what kind of saw you have. And there is tricks you can use. To uh, gather the piston ring together. But I go for it, I just take a try and see how difficult it is to enter. You never know before you know. Even then you don't know. Maybe the smartest thing would be this particular saw. To mount to take out. I think I need to take out this. And um, See if I can enter it. This way. But it's entered wrong, and there is some grease coming out there, and now I don't remember. Can I turn it? Yes. I was able to turn it. I hope this is the correct way. Now let's see if I can do that. and uh, without getting uh, this gasket fluid everywhere hmm. Nice to have a flywheel, the wheel with the magneto.
here. Doesn't seem like. Is it entering? That's the question. Yes. This one is entering. I hope the focus is not too bad. This one is not entering. Perhaps it's the wrong screw. I have a suspicion it's the wrong screw. One of them is the wrong. Yes, it is. The first one I put is the wrong. The other one is entering. Pretty cool. Now it's locked. Ew. But the one screw is wrong. And that's this one. And this one is correct. So far maybe so good. a little well, where did that come from I have no idea A spacer and a knot. The gasoline intake. That's what I mean. Necessarily to get it the right way, of course. There's a little slight difference in the both of the sides of the leveler. As I remember, it should be. Way. Like this way.
The throttle was a little stuck, now it's uh, work, not perfectly, maybe need some uh, spry down there to make it more, but it's activating, but is there any spark, now There is a spark, but this is a little difficult to take on and off. Yeah, it's a little too crazy. Ah, oh, there it is, went off. Okay, it's a very narrow gap there. I made a mistake. I should have put the line on the little hole there. But it will work, I guess. I can force it. I hope. No. I need to take it off again. Slightly. I maybe just could loosen this. Slightly. Yeah. And then I can put the wire down. A little bit into that crack. Well, there I got it. I didn't have to take everything apart. There's a little gasket remnant. I don't bother to, uh, to test the compression. I just give it a try at once. To see if there could uh, now be some life in it. You never know. New piston rings. Or a ring, it was only one ring. Ah, 
wow, 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 wow. What's that? Ay, ay, ay. So now I have to take a look on the uh, on the I need to take a look on the oil pump montage and of course I need to put this one uh, down and this is the choke how to put that There. Choke on. I guess. Yeah. Choke off. High low. Then we have the oil pump. I guess this one is down there. Yes. And then, uh, what is this? Well, it's behind the clutch. Just the cover behind the clutch. And, um, Almost like as if something is missing here. like to uh, clean it a little, I'm a little too uh, obsessive about that, except great a little. So I guess this has to be like this. Warm gear. Small screws. Oop, I got everything in there. Now oh, there's a space over there. Oh my god, it's going. Very exciting. There was some sign of life in the machine and maybe my diagnosis was 100% correct the piston ring was stuck
and I don't put any oil on it because well, well I could look on a on a water machine and I find the part there is threads there but something is missing there and I guess it is the I don't only guess I know it is the the bearings here should be in need of grease. And this should be uh, on the carburetor. But now it's too late. I need to put it on later. Or maybe I just fix it at once. So it's done. I forgot that little part. Easy to do. Easy to miss or forget a little part, but it's not that too much work to open it. And in 34 I think. Yeah, I think it's no, it's 35. And I have uh, this was missing. Might just be able to put it on here. Or maybe not. No, I have to take apart. Just a millimeter, half a millimeter more out, and then it's uh, working perfect. So it doesn't squeeze in uh, onto th this part. Small details. So uh, anyway, this um, carburetor has been through ultrasonic cleaner. So it need uh, maybe a little lubrication on the 
on this um, uh, moving parts. Yeah. And I could even pry a little into the plastic. Hopefully it will enter in there. So then it was the part I missed, I forgot, and that was this, this part now is in place, and I have done some uh, lubrication on the, I don't know what you call this, uh, plates, choke plate and uh, throttle plate, the gasoline tube looks in good condition no gas will leak I hope anyway as you can see it's an easy chainsaw to uh, take apart this time I will guide the uh, ignition, uh, the spark wire on the right place. it yes put together a saw like that you could misalign some things and a uh, lot of things can go wrong by all means ah, it doesn't work perfectly this Ah, What's that? details later on. Could 
uh, put it in half by loosening all those screws and open up this. Take an inspection inside. Looks like it should go in retour all this way down there, or maybe not. Maybe a too high speed on it now. So there it's locking. Feels like it doesn't have the free space all the way. But that's where it's locking. It's not locking there. So I think it's only does this walk need. Need only this walk. Impossible to move before I put down the safety and then it can move it and hopefully this is the walking space is needed not more and this seems to work too yeah pre-start uh, I don't know if it's uh, three quarter of uh, throttle one quarter of a throttle, extra uh, throttle in the start position. If it's a cold, the, the chain is cold, it needs extra uh, fuel to enter into the cylinder to make the first ignition, and then you finally do quickly do that, and then the uh, RPM goes down immediately but then you have uh, started it and that was the whole point of the pre-start uh, position to get the start once it gets start you go down in the middle uh, in uh, immediately you push this in again and then it's going off to nice potential Then it was the choke again, now I will be more easy for me to mount it, because I know more, yes, I'm a real professional on the show now. Then I got some grease, could even put some grease on the tiny whiny on the warm gear. A little bit, not excessive much. I think that is okay. Do that. You don't need anything there. It's like the brass on brass or plastic on. I don't think you need anything there. And then it is the. Take grease on this needle bearings. Use plenty. Just cover. I don't know how this way it was. This one is clean. This one is a little rusty. I guess this just go on like this. Yeah, it is. It has some grips here, which go into these holes here to activate uh, the warm gear. So you need to align uh, that carefully. I think I did. There I did. 
did not in the first attempt, but uh, I guess this has to be, could be this way. Yeah, it must be that way. But then again, there's a space, or should that be there? There's a, a space or left over. I might need to go back on the film to see where that space should be, or uh, I take a chance, it maybe should be there, yeah, it looks like it should be there, could it be this way? this way. No. Uh, I'm afraid to lose the spacer. Spacer is there. I can see a, a signs. There is some sign here. Yeah, it must be this way. Of course. You see sign of this mirroring on that. I forgot that, just cover, but it's not important. It should be covering the, the points, but there is no points now. I took it away. I have a little problem with the spark plug. Mounting. This maybe went okay. I had a tendency to lose because it's a too little bit uh, oval. Piston blocker. Tightening the clutch. I remember rewind. Now it can be stuck. And that's not good, so I need to take it out again. A lot of things to think about. Because when you 
tighten the clutch, you could risk to to jam the recoil and uh, damage the. Uh, you just squeeze off the baffles on the flywheel, and we don't want that. So I take it out a little. Little more so the piston is down. Now the piston is, is down. Piston blocker. too much uh, choke
like it uh, round for some reason. Promising. Very promising. So now I'm sure I will have a sore out of it, even then it is died now, it could be a, a ground, uh, I don't know why, it could be a, it gave up, <laughs> the piston ring, but I do the process and uh, one more time if I want, because I know now that the cylinder and piston is okay, and remember I put the piston ring from a steel 025, and I put uh, a coil which I adjusted or uh, uh, I worked on it. I, uh, what they say, I, uh, I modified it, the coil, uh, just by uh, using my imagination. I grinded the, the, the magneto uh, points, I don't know what to, the, they call it, but I grinded the two points that's uh, going forward to the flywheel magneto, the gap. I grind it uh, maybe a half a millimeter, maybe a millimeter, and I grind it a little on the plastic, so it will, I, it misses, uh, it misses uh, one millimeter or, or two millimeters to make uh, a sufficient uh, gap between the flywheel and the uh, coil. So I, I modified it and it works, uh, seems to work okay. It's an electronic coil of course, the original on the chainsaw is points and uh, condenser, which uh, probably was a uh, main function, so there was no spark. But the uh, 025 uh, coil gives good spark. I had to mount uh, uh, a new uh, head on the spark wire and it uh, was a little troublesome but when I put the rubber uh, top on uh, last time I used a little two stroke oil so it should the rubber should slide in more easy. The first time there was no rubber oil so I, uh, I slightly uh, diverted the, the connection point because it's easy to be to move it off, so um, you need to use your imagination and your uh, intuition all the time. So there is no uh, missing link, making you not able to uh, drive the chainsaw. So after I, and I did sealing a gasket on the basement with this. As you could see, floating uh, seal. There was no seal gasket there. I don't understand why not. And as I tell you, the cylinder and piston looked okay. The piston ring was uh, jammed. To me, it looks like it was jammed. It could not move freely, which it need to do. So um, now it seems like the compression is okay. So uh, stop switch start switch so why why die now I'm not sure yeah there it is it was just a little ground I guess but there is a, there is sign of life here slightly drowned a little I maybe I should uh, put that close closer take down the gasoline uh, after all I did a carb rebuild too so it's maybe get too much uh, gasoline now you need adjustment that's all Now 
I stopped it. Okay, hopefully uh, we'll be back with uh, the saw chewing into wood and demonstration and then I have fixed the oil. There is some uh, oil mechanism missing here and I'm not sure how it works. But the oil pump and the warm gears uh, is okay. Anyway, I have the parts. It's, I guess it's similar as in steel 20. 20. 020. I have a lot of steel uh, 020 parts. So the oil for the bar. No, it's not the oil for the bar. Now I see. Maybe nothing is missing. The bar oil is supposed to come out here. This is the bar um, nut itself. So it was leaking. This is directly into the oil chamber, so the problem was uh, there is no um, pipe missing here. The problem is when I took off all the bar cover, the whole uh, bolt was coming out instead of only the nut on the outside. Now I know that too. My mistake. One thing was uh, coming out of the chainsaw and that was this. I don't really know where that is supposed to be. So there is a part that came out from the saw and that will remain a mystery for now. Where this belong? I have no idea. Hopefully it will not have any significant uh, uh, significant uh, meaning or uh, hopefully the saw will not miss it hopefully it will not do anything I think this is from this saw yeah the color is matching so suddenly it was there it's coming from somewhere on the saw I don't know where Oh, a little exciting that. So there was some information about chainsaw and what you can uh, encounter when you do a chainsaw. Promising, very promising, just as it looked in the first place. And I think I. Uh, I don't have time now, but uh, I put the bar on and the cover on very quick. I have it, but now I have to do something else. Then the evening came, and a little rain entered too. I made some painting on the sword. And this is the bolt, the bar bolt, strange, I took out the whole bolt, very simple patent, very easy patent, mm, the bar bolt, uh, I just uh, make it be at this, as it is, normally uh, the nuts should go out, not the whole bolt. Yeah, it's pretty loose. I can take it off by hand. And so I will do. But the strange thing is that the whole 
power bolt came out. So the oil, bar oil was leaking out. Because it's, the hole is straight through into the oil uh, reservoir for the chain. I could, uh, maybe I should uh, be a sign of something not so perfect so maybe I should tighten it a little more I use uh, this uh, rag to protect it I don't do anything wrong now. To protect the, the threads I use this uh, rag. The wind is blowing and uh, the door is swinging up and I'm down. So I, I brushed a little rust from the bar. And I put some paint on it, black would match the handle, so it's important to have the chain the right way, front out. Smoothly and okay. The chain brake there is activator. Need to go into this uh, track there. Well, there you have it. Seems like it's very easy to mount, very beautiful saw. I think so. Uh -huh. And there is a screw there. Will it fit into something? Yeah, there is a mounting uh, hole there. It's typically of this smaller source, but this is not that small because this has a 42 millimeter piston. That's uh, strange because, yeah, it's a 38 cc. That's why it's 38 there. Many of them have a 38 millimeter piston in this uh, category size. Oh, there's a lot of threads here. Do I enter at all? I lose my patient. I think I miss it. Slightly missing it. I need to miss a line slightly. I need to press it a little bit. I need to know the technique. There is entry. Should have been Torx, not a flat head screw. More easy with the Torx. You see, it's very easy to slip it to the side or whatever. 
old fashioned, very organic, very big screws. A lot of screwing, a lot of threads. But charming. So I'm tightening the chain. There it is. little bit tight no I think it's okay chainsaw in the rain I changed my mind. I, I, I give it a little more slack. Now it's perfect. The whole bolt is not coming out. Perfect. Now what's left is the filter. Oh, the brake mechanism is work. What is left is the filter. It's supposed to be, aha, uh -huh, it's supposed to be under there. Been raining a little on it. So I forgot the filter. And I have to circle back, as I heard somebody say. I have to open it again. And then it starts to become complete. So this is some hours later than before today. I've been on a short trip until evening come. Yeah, the filter. Aha. Uh -huh. There is two small uh, hooks here and it fits to the filter there so very smart very smooth I kind of like this saw everything simply and everything solid And my mechanical theory uh, was right. And the result so far looks promising. 
now it's nine o'clock in the evening so I will not start it hopefully you will see it in action that is on wood I mean Actually, uh, the chainsaw is from uh, introduced in 1977, and uh, I uh, added some extra two-stroke. It's a bad film here. Extra two-stroke uh, oil because uh, I have those new piston rings. So I think you call it uh, break-in, in English. With new piston rings it should have 5% uh, two-stroke oil mix. And uh, normally it has two-stroke... Uh, uh, it has 4% uh, uh, two-stroke uh, oil, normally. And it's from 1977, and, uh, but uh, today's oil is better. And I usually use uh, uh, Aspen premixed, Aspen uh, premixed. But this is my can where, where I uh, put extra two-stroke uh, oil in. So this is about uh, I do it on eyeballing it, uh, eye measuring. So, but uh, it's about four percent. I give it a little of this two-stroke oil. So, I guess maybe it's got a little hot because it has too little two-stroke oil in it. I'm not sure. But in the meantime, I have uh, measured the uh, compression, which is utterly good. It's about 150 plus, uh, a little more, 150, 1, 2, 3, 4 PSI. Let's say 153 PSI. That's... Uh, very good so there is no problem with the compression in the chainsaw but it died for me a little bit maybe I adjusted a little bit so it could be the adjustment it could be the needle is a little bit uh, out of uh, alignment the the regulator arm of the needle could maybe need to be lower a little inside the carburetor because it may be float a little because the the leveler is a little too too high so the needle don't close completely I'm not sure stop switch off free speed a little high on idle but I don't dare to put it lower because then it's, uh, it's maybe it's a, uh, it could die for me and then I need to wait a long time before I can start it again because it's uh, floating it's oiling perfect very good oiling on the chain so it will be it is a chainsaw that I can rely on now because I know the compression is good and that is the main thing oiling good 
and uh, if it's float or I don't, uh, need to do some uh, gentle adjustment on the carburetor uh, I can do but I need to learn to know uh, the saw a little more the small small details and now it's hot weather so then all these chainsaws has a, a tendency or easy to float they like more to be operated in the in minus degrees this is my experience so here we are again on the test bench